All right, so the countdown, of course, on to the Super Bowl, and that means we're all thinking about the food. Specifically, Super Bowl menus can be anything and everything, but they're really are three staples if you really want to get down to it the three most popular super bowl dishes are wings wings okay. pizza okay beer dip guacamole oh, chips and dip yes oh, yeah. uh -huh. so, but we're all on the same page right Fair. there the three staples are pizza chip and dip yes. and wings and now pizza and chip and dip these are the old school selections those are like have been with football for a very long time wings yeah. though did not become a staple until the late 90s. And Tim, this is why we invited you to the table. I was wondering why I was here. Yeah, we you thought, me here we, for we, a reason. We, we thought that you would know <laughs> why wings became a staple. Why late, I would know. In the late 90s. In the late 90s. Yeah. Okay, people like Buffalo. Oh, the Bills were in the Super Bowl a lot in the 90s. They yeah. were. Right. Right. I'm, I'm the Bills fan that we, we go and we lose, but we have good wings. So right? winner, winner, chicken wing dinner. Oh, is that right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here's the story. The Buffalo Bills, of course, played in four consecutive Super Bowls. 91, 92, 93. I'm sorry that I'm showing you the loss column, but hey, that's what it is. Every time. Oh. They are the only team to ever play in four consecutive Super Bowls. Oh, wow. yeah. During those four years, plenty of stories were done, and of course, the buffalo chicken wing got a lot of play as the hometown delicacy. Right here, this is from the annual Buffalo Wing Fest. This is from last year. I do enjoy mm. the wing hats that I saw people wearing <laughs> in other uh, pieces of video. There oh, they are. Oh, They're yeah. like the cheese heads. Okay, crazy. All right, so not only did the wing get a whole lot of play for those four years, but as legend then has it, Domino's and Pizza Hut then started adding wings to their delivery wow. after that, and that is really what made it for the masses. Hmm. Tim knows that I'm an adopted Bills fan because of my wife, who's yes. from Buffalo. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and the argument up there is Anchor Bar or Duff's. Yes. Those are the two, like, primary. They both claim to be the birthplace of the chicken wing. Mm -hmm. Isn't it weird to think about a world without chicken wings? Oh, I know. Yes. But before that, and I think they were invented in like the 70s or something, mm -hmm. they, they haven't been around forever. No. It's actually a more recent thing, as you just told us. Well, and part of that reason was it used to be really hard to cook chicken, right? And mm -hmm. they didn't know how to process chicken, so everything was always full on chicken. Yeah. Um, and so then when the food processing became better and faster and all that other kind of stuff, then they were able to do like wings and drums and this and that and whatever. And so, hence chicken wings. Thank and they goodness. were cheap. I love them. And I'm learning so much today. And now they're not cheap. <laughs> no, now Thank they're not you cheap. to your <laughs> Buffalo Bills. That's all I have to say. Another fun fact. Super Bowl Sunday is second only to Thanksgiving when it comes to the <laughs> amount of food consumed. What? Wow. Would you not believe that though? Yes? Yeah. I, I would. mean, is there anything I think, like, else? Christmas might try to compare, but I, don't know, you don't I guess think not. Of Judging by how I feel afterward, I would yes. say that makes sense to yes. me. Stress <laughs> eating, right? Like, well, because I think Christmas is like maybe full day eating yeah. or that kind of stuff, where like Super Bowl and Thanksgiving, the meal is the thing. And a button comes undone. And a button well, comes The food is in front of you the whole time, Sweats. so you can just mash the whole grace. way through. Yeah. All right. What are you going to graze on? You can tell us all about it on Facebook. We'll see you.